uh, on this process that has ongone, Mr. Speaker, although as I begin, I want to wish my brother and friend, uh, Rigadi Gashagwa, a quick recovery after that unfortunate incident. Mr. Speaker, the process largely has gone on well until the adherence of Article 50, Mr. Speaker, where we have not succeeded in giving fair hearing to the uh, to Deputy President, Mr. Speaker. The reading of Article 145, and I want to bring to the attention, 4, does not specify the timeline on which the president, uh, Deputy President removal can be listened. It is only by the special committee that it provides for 10 days. So, Mr. Speaker, that was very unfortunate, Mr. Speaker, in the principle that justice should not only be done, but to be seen to be done, Mr. Speaker. Many Kenyans are asking questions, Mr. Speaker, what really happened? Number three, Mr. Speaker, in observation, we did not even allow state officers, a full-time governor, Mr. Speaker, to participate. This matter was decided in Constitutional Petition 204 uh, of 2019, where state officers were barred by Justice Eric Ogola, Mr. Speaker. When you look at the issues, Mr. Speaker, because of limitation of time, on various grounds, like, for example, on the grounds for renovation of the office of the Deputy President, the funds were appropriated by the National Assembly. Yet the same National Assembly is accusing the Deputy President, who is not even an accountant. The accountant is a different person, Mr. Speaker. Even on the Kemsa issue on the bully, in the grounds that they have been set, Mr. Speaker, they are saying that the Deputy President bullied Kemsa, Mr. Speaker, but there is no proof that that tender was awarded to the specified companies that were provided, Mr. Speaker. On even the aspect of devolution, the chairperson of intergovernmental IBEC is the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Mr. Speaker. It is unfortunate that we are coming to circumvent the same law and accuse the Deputy President of undermining devolution, Mr. Speaker. Even on Kambini Vipingo road, road, Mr. Speaker, no one adduced the evidence that this road is either public or private, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, on the aspect, even on unexplained wealth, Mr. Speaker, you saw the mover did not give us a wealth declaration form from ESCC to show us unexplained wealth of Deputy President 5.2 billion, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, the grounds that have been induced before the House stands on the quicksand, Mr. Speaker, and if you realize on the 11 grounds, the mover was on a fishing expedition, Mr. Speaker.